After a considerable delay, round three begins. Now, I before we get into round three, I'd like to give everybody just a little bit of an update on how things are rolling. The reason there hasn't been many updates lately is because I'm currently in school through the week 13 hours per day. Now, originally, I thought I could make do with a couple hours at the end of the day, upload videos, handle things over the weekend. It took me until about Monday evening before I realized that wasn't going to go. Now, as I mentioned, the reason for the delay is that I have the entirety of Toho Mother recorded. The reason I haven't updated it is because I'm purposely delaying it so I can finish working on a pretty fairly involved project for the end of Toho Mother. So, I'm waiting until I have enough time to get all of that done and together before I really kick into uploading and finish off the game. Rest assured, when I start the next LP after Toho Mother, things are going to go a lot smoother and I'm going to be able to upload much, much more often. Back to round three, though. Once again, apologies for the delay. Now remember, just a single vote in each category. First up, Contra. The well-known co-op run-and-gun for a lot of systems. If possible, we'll probably try to get a hold of the arcade version. Bujin Guy. I'm gonna call it a hack and slash where the main character was modeled after Gak. Final Fight, the co-op beat-em-up in the first in the Final Fight series. Terranigma. I'm gonna call it kind of a uh, action-adventure dungeon crawler puzzle-ish game for the uh, Super Nintendo. Dragon Quest V, fifth in the well-known Dragon Quest series of which Elemental Ogre is a big fan, so if this one wins, I'm dragging him along for co-commentary. EVO, The Search for Eden. Action-adventure platformer for um, either the Super Nintendo or the Genesis, where you run around trying to out-evolve your nemesis is... Disgaea. Tactical RPG for the PS2, with some of the best character personalities I have ever seen. Akuji the Demon. I'm gonna call it kind of a Metroid Castlevania-ish action-adventure platformer type game, where you run around a small demon who has been slighted by a hero and are out for justice, or anti-justice. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Not terribly sure what to call this one. Let's call it Action Adventure Platformer for the I Wanna Say GameCube, where you run around a small chicken boy who uses giant eggs to progress through the levels. Magical Hoppers. Platformer for the PlayStation. It was translated and brought over as Pandemonium, but you know what? I didn't think the characters in that game were unique enough and special enough. So we're playing the Japanese version, full of absurdity. Parasite Eve. Survival horror with RPG elements. No more heroes. Very, very, very violent hack and slash, which are with a real nice sense of humor. There are at least a few fun ones in here. We've got Disgaea, Akuji, Magical Hoppers looks interesting, though I haven't played it. Even Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. I can't really put a vote down for who I want to win. It's probably a toss-up between Dragon Quest V, Akuji the Demon, and Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. 